As we all know, Malaysia is known as one of the largest producer of commodity for oil palm ranking the second place in Asia after Indonesia. The Malaysia Palm Oil Board is a government agency responsible for the promotion and development of the palm oil sector in the country. According to MPOC, today 4.49 million hectares of land in Malaysia is under oil palm cultivation producing 17.73 million tons of palm oil and 2.13 tons of palm oil kernel. Malaysia produces and exports 11% of the world's oil and fats production and 27% of export trade of oils and fats. The industry provides employment to more than half a million people and livelihood to an estimated 1 million people. Hi, I am Pushedi Bahana from class 80-1104C. The main purpose of me making this video is to talk about the control strategies of oil palm, rubber, and weed for my subject AZR244 Pest Management. There are a few control strategies that I have learned, which is cultural, biological, and chemical control. But here I want to contrast only one, which is biological control in oil palm. But before I proceed, I want to elaborate a little bit more about one of the diseases that often occur in plantations, which is the BSR basal stem rot. BSR are the current challenge in oil palm industry and often occur as a major threat caused by the Ganoderma boninus, a soil-borne fungus that is responsible for the white rot in many tree species. Leaves wilt, nuts become small, and lower leaves rot. The reason behind BSR is caused by the artificial inoculations of seedlings and seedlings planted near the Ganoderma infected trunks. In this situation, roots become infected when they are in contact with infected soil debris and infected soil roots. The diseases that often occur can be managed by IDM which is the Integrated Disease Management which the main goals are to eliminate and reduce the effectiveness of the inoculum, increase the resistance with the host and slowing the secondary cycle. Biological control is the process to reduce or control the pest level by using another microorganism. For example, BSR that is caused by the Ganoderma boninus can be controlled by Trichoderma harzianum. MPOB, which is the Malaysian Palm Oil Board, has developed Geno EF, which is a combination of Handrosonia, an endophic fungus, which contains beneficial nutrients, organic matter, and effective microorganisms. This endophic fungus, Hendersonia, is very strong antagonistic towards the Ganoderma, which can control the BSR. The next biological control, which is the PGPF, the plant growth promoting fungi, which can suppress the disease that are caused by the soil borne pathogens. The strain from Trichoderma harzinum is useful as the nematode inhibitor, fungicide, and also plant growth promoter. Next is the PZPR, which is the plant growth promoting rhizobacteria, which is known as the bacteria that colonizes. PZPR has the ability to inhibit the soil borne pathogens such as the Ganoderma in the rhizosphere. The last biological control that can be done is AMF, which is the Arbuscular Mycorrhiza fungi. AMF can be classified as the endomycorrhizae because of the ability to penetrate the root cortical cells in the vascular plants. Those are the biological control that can be done since the diseases can cause economic losses to billions. I would love to end my video presentation today by extending my gratitude by saying thank you and appreciating your effort for seeing this video till the end.